Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I am Mike with Team Brothership, uh, and this is another episode of my um, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Let's Play. Um, so, a little peek behind the curtain. It's actually been like a really long time since I played this game. Um, I recorded a couple episodes in a row, and then I kind of missed posting them, so it's it's been several weeks. <laughs> Um, oops. So I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit out of, uh, out of practice, and I definitely just tried to roll, like in Elden Ring. There's that as well. <laughs> um, so, I'm trying to think. I believe last episode, we, um, we got through the fifth, fifth dungeon? Um, I'm digging here because I'm pretty sure there's a seashell here somewhere. All sorts of nonsense from my PC. There we go. Literally the last place I check. Uh, so yeah, we finished the fifth dungeon. We got ourselves the hook shot, and uh, then we actually finished the trading mini game, and we got um, where is it? This fun lens, which will let us see invisible things. Uh, so I think first on the docket, um, we have to go gather up all the songs for the ocarina. We're, we're heading to dungeon number five, but I think before we can do that, uh, I think we need to get some of the songs. Oh, dang. Um, which is something that I should have done a while ago, uh, but I forgot that I could do that. I was hoping to get one of the songs here, but uh, Marin is not here. And actually, um, depending upon... I need a bunch of money to get one of the songs. I think we get charged for it. What a, what a big scam. Um, <laughs> God, I'm still trying to roll like an Elden Ring. I'm playing a lot of Elden Ring lately, folks. All right, let's jump over here. We'll go back to the town. Yeah, so we're, we're going to try to gather up all the songs today. That, that should be pretty uh, doable. And we're also going to try to get through dungeon number six, um, <laughs> which will only be doable if we can get all the songs. Um, so one of them should be... Oh, let me poke my head into the shop for a second. I just want to check on something. We only really need the heart piece, but we need our money for other things, so heart piece gets delayed as usual. Oh, where the heck is she? I don't know. Is she up on the mountain? That's going to be annoying. Let's check with this kid. We need Marin to get one of the songs. I probably... You know. All right. <laughs> you know what we're going to do then? We're gonna, we're gonna wander over here for a second, and I think, I think we can potentially, I th okay, so I, I think I mentioned it before, I have played, most of my time was spent with the original version of Link's Awakening, but they did release like a deluxe version with the Game Boy Advance, uh, not Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, that had a bunch of other like, um, I don't know, color-related <laughs> tweaks to it, and including a whole other dungeon, which I think is this book right here. Um, Alright, I'm going to actually write that down. <laughs> so, um, so that, is, that is back in the graveyard. I, I really have not done um, much of anything with this dungeon. So we shall we shall see how that goes. I, I did it obviously when I when I replayed the game, um, this version of the game. But unlike every other dungeon, uh, oh god, my cats are fighting with my. Hold on a second. My cats are fighting with my capture card, so that's not going to go well. Um, yeah, I don't really remember much about the color dungeon, obviously based off of the fact that, um, 
You could do color with the Game Boy Color. I think I need 300 to get the... Uh, I was hoping we could do that dungeon right now and get some extra cash. Well, you know, we could wander over. Oh, he's selling a seashell and a weird little thing. Well, we need our money for songs, so we'll deal with that later. You know what? Um, where is the... Where is the graveyard? It's right over there. We could try to do that today instead. Well, first, let's go... We can definitely get one of the songs, at least. Do I want this one, or do I... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna warp over here. I'm gonna see if I can grab... I think we're gonna need to grab Naren. Which is way out of our way, but... Say la vie. Alright, let's head up the mountain. Whee! Alright, we got a... We got a thingy. I think it's under here. Hey, look at that. So we are going for 30 seashells, I believe, which is basically the the end. There's there's more stuff that I'm pretty sure they added for this particular version of the game. But uh, for our purposes, I think we can go up here. No, we can't go up here. This leads to the egg. Mr. Owl, what do you have to tell us this time? this way then. Whee. Um, I mean, we are going to need to make several passes through every place just to uh, gather up resources. Actually, is this even the right way? Oh gosh, we're a real mess today. No, it's not. We need to go up the other way. Oops. That's alright. We'll go grab some stuff over here quickly. So, so, how have you all... Uh, that's not going to work. How have you all been this, this fine week? Get this out of here. No, that's not going to work either. Jeez. How have you been? I've been a little distracted, to be honest. <laughs> As you may be able to tell. <laughs> My shoddy performance here. Alright. Over there. No, we're not even going this way. Cheat. Ugh. I should just cut all this crap out. <laughs> Start the episode over again. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We're gonna go to the other way. Um... So yeah, there's not much of the game left to go, really. There's uh, a couple of dungeons we gotta do. Oops. Come on. Get some apples. Fill up my health. A couple of dungeons to go. We wanna gather up some heart pieces, some, some seashells that we'll need. Oh, you know what? They changed that. Uh, I'm gonna just run into this dungeon and grab something real quick. <laughs> Because I think there's money in here, which we need. Perfect. All right, we've almost got enough for our, our other song. Oh, we do. Excellent. Um, that'll be helpful. All right, let's keep going with our quest to recover Marin. Um, hopefully we can at least open a teleporter so this isn't a total wash. Um, we can come back here a little bit easier. Yeah, we're actually going, um, let's see, here. This is where dungeon number six is, but we need those songs to get in. Well, we need a song to get in. We might as well get the others because we'll need them all eventually anyways. Oop. 
can take the time to gather up a few resources while we're going. Uh, I guess we already got everything here. Don't worry, this will be this will be a good episode. I promise. Ugh, not if I keep doing stupid stuff like that. All right. How the heck do we? Did I go the wrong way? Ugh. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, right, right. All right, you know what? I don't think we actually need Marin's song to get... Oh, God, they're going to eat our shield. I don't think we actually need Marin's song to, um, to get the next area. It's just very unusual to... Uh, <laughs> It's very unusual to get the song that we're going to be getting without uh, the Windfish song, but we live in strange times, you know? Uh, what's the fastest way back? I guess just through the forest. Actually, I just need to get to a teleporter. Uh, there might be one in the water over here. Well, we wasted a full ten minutes of your time. I'm sorry. Sorry, everyone. I can only apologize so many times, though. Uh, eventually, we will get some things. So we needed we needed Bow Wow the first time we were here to kill this stuff. But eventually, we will get something that will allow us to dispatch the plants ourselves. You know what? Actually, I'm right near the color dungeon. Maybe... Maybe we should just uh, maybe we should just go there instead. You know, uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, let's let's pop over to the color dungeon. Let's let's live uh, let's live wildly. Do a little bit of exploring. Actually, I'm gonna go this way past Crazy Tracy's house as well. Uh, Hold on, I think I might be able to. Hmm. I don't know, that's a teleporter. I don't know how to activate that without... Um... Normally, you just use the... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I remember now. That's one of the reasons why we're trying to get songs. Um, this place is pretty useless in general, but uh, I think, well... There's a heart piece, clearly. And I think... Uh, I think there's a seashell somewhere, too. It's kind of a weird chunk of the game, this little area with all the crummy trees. Um, it, it takes up almost two... You know, in the original version, almost two whole screens. Um, oops. Perfect. Uh, and there's not really much here other than that uh, that heart piece in the seashell. Um, now that we've got the lens, we can also kind of unload our shovel for something that's much more useful. But I want to make sure I don't need to do any more digging first. Uh, what is that? I'm worked over a little bit. All right, we're into the graveyard. And I'm guessing we want to do our uh, our activity here. Get rid of some of these ghosts first, because it's there were um, the ghosts are definitely. Oops! No, well, now they're dead. Um. All right. Where's my note that I wrote down? Since. No, no. No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Well, let's try. No, that doesn't move. Ugh, ugh. Let's try this one then. Move any of these. Ooh. I forgot about him, the big ghost. 
Oops. Drops a fairy. Now I keep touching the tombstones, waking up the ghosts. Hmm. Alright, hold on a second. Let's back out of here for a minute. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Gotta reset all the tombstones, though. In the old version, you just walk off the screen, but now I think you gotta go around a little bit. dungeon hole for a second. Oh, actually, I think there's something here that I haven't gotten yet anyways. Correct. Uh, let's see. Blow that up. Then we can use our hook shot. The feather. Ta-da! Oh, nice. That was, uh, that was enough to cap us off, so we're up another heart. Perfect. All right, let's try this again. I think I'm vaguely remembering how we do this. One. Nope. How about over here? Move this guy over here. Two. Okay, okay. Somebody who can move up. Three. Nope. Biffed it again. Past the 15 minute mark, and I haven't accomplished anything meaningful, so let's try. Can we move this guy? Can we move up? One, two, three, four. Maybe I miswrote something. That could also be likely. One, two, three. Get out of here, ghosts. Four. There we go. All right, that only took 100,000 tries. All right, well, I guess we're going to do the color dungeon. Then we'll worry about ocarina nonsense later. Color guard, just like marching band. Now, how much magic powder do we have? Not a lot. All right, well, we'll see how far we can get. of shrieking fellows. Need to restore our hearts a little bit. Oh, perfect. Okie dokie. Now. Oh, right. That should do it. Perfect. So the whole, th the whole gimmick with this dungeon originally was like, whoa, it's color in your Game Boy Zelda game, and all the puzzles are dependent upon color, because the original version of 
Yes, 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 we know what a compass does. Um, woo, okay. That's right. Bombs, useful. Oh, these stupid things. I gotta get these guys in their little holes. The correct holes. Yeah, all the, like I said, all the puzzles are dependent upon color. So. So, this dungeon would not have been possible without the, uh, the added color feature of the aforementioned Game Boy Color. Um, it's kind of a neat little dungeon. It's not really that that amazing. Uh, I mean, for one, it, you can't really have anything super important in here since um, it didn't exist in the original version, which was a complete game. Uh, I want to find our map, though. That will make... Oh, these idiots. I got dropped a, uh, a key. I got dropped a heart. That's kind of useful. This will pop us back over into the room with the key. Or keyhole, I should say. Oh boy. This fellow. Don't like the look of this guy. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta try to jump when he does his thing. Oops. Ah. Gotcha. Hopefully he drops a fairy, because I got a little worked over. Perfect. Back to full. I don't think this place is super long, either. Oh, boy. No! Stop breaking everything! So long. Uh, no map yet. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. These are not uh, these these particular types of puzzles are not my strong suit. Oops. Certainly not when you do it that way. I usually just keep hitting them until something works out. that though. There's a really simple way to do this kind of stuff and I'm just uh, I'm just bad at it. Ugh. Ugh. You can kind of um yeah, you can kind of tell I'm terrible at this. Well, well Oh, damn it. That would have been perfect. Oops. Ah, there we go. All right. key, which I don't have, so I guess we're uh, migrating elsewhere for the moment. Ugh, this stupid... Oh, come on. Right, this room said it had a key in it, so... Get off of there. Perfect. Well, it had a treasure chest, I should say, not a key. 
Oh, map. That's useful. If I look at it correctly. Alright. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Okay. Ah! No. Get in your hole. As the philosopher... Oh, get out of there. As the philosopher uh, Happy Gilmore once said, Are you too good for your home? through that door. Uh, but first, 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 first. I missed that hole. It's the actual treasures way over there. Missed a whole section. Busy dealing with that silly mini boss. Man, I gotta say, I do really, really like the fact that, um, oops. In this version of the game. Oh no. Ha! Much easier. <laughs> I do really like the fact that the puzzles all stay solved. Come on. Um, you know, because in the old one, you, every time. Oh boy. Another mini boss. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. No. Oops. Ah, I missed. That was a little bit close. Easy peasy. Back up to full. And now... We can get our treasure. Which I don't even remember what it is. Can't be anything that great since you didn't need it to finish the game. Oh, it's just the boss key. <laughs> Alright. Head over to the boss. Like I said, this one's kind of a, a shorter one. Yeah. Enemies hit hard here, though, you may be noticing. The other thing, since you can theoretically get into this dungeon as soon as you get the boots, um... They can't really, none of the puzzles can be particularly reliant upon any of your other tools. Um. Oh no. Well, he died too, so. Let me grab something to get some more hearts, get to the boss at full health. Bring these fellows out. I guess they want to make sure you have some kind of a ranged weapon before you get in here. So, uh... Oh my.
don't think that kills him, though. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Hi there. Oh, right. I say offense. Glass cannon all the way. That's right. Because, yeah, in the old version, you, you know, normally in the Zelda games, um, you get the extra sets of armor, but uh, there's, there's no color <laughs> in this game, so there's no way they can denote that. Um, all right. Yeah, that's right. Wow, look at that. You blast that guy across the map. All right. Let's, um... Yeah. Let's head this way. We're gonna go totally out of order with the, uh, the music. But it's the way it goes sometimes. We, we only need the one song to advance, so... Ooh, what do we got here? Seashell, you say? How do you... No, he landed on the sign. That's weird. Oops. So, yeah, you can see we hit quite a bit harder now, which is good. Alright, where is that seashell? Gotta be buried somewhere. Let's just dig around for a few minutes. I don't need too many more seashells, and uh, the prize that you get for getting 30 is definitely worth it. <laughs> it's a little hard to tell where the... Uh, up the tree, maybe? There we go, okay. Um, it's a little hard to tell where the screen breaks would normally be in this version, since it's high-technology smooth scrolling. Okay, let's see, I think I need this fella. Oops, over here. Okay, this is a super annoying puzzle right here. You have to follow these signs. It actually sometimes helps to clear out the enemies first, and you have to read all of the signs in order. And if you read the signs in the wrong order, you have to start over again. Um, there's not a ton of them. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> there's not a ton of them. Um, oh, that was stupid. Can I? Hmm. I think I have to blow these up. Uh. How the heck do I? Can I? Oh, I just lift them. Duh. It's a little bit easier in this version since. Uh, Oops, since the map is smooth scrolling, you can kind of see all the signs as you get closer. Um, but yeah, it's pretty annoying when you lose track of which sign you're you're looking at, and you accidentally um, make yourself have to start over again. You want to make sure everything's lined up the way that it needs to be. Some of the signs are kind of close together. They try to trick you. You don't want that. So this can be kind of an annoying puzzle otherwise. Ta-da! Alright. I did it easy enough. Remember the first time I played this game? This took me forever. And hopefully it was... Uh, I'm not grabbing that. 
Hey, look who it is. It's Wart from Super Mario Brothers 2. That guy hasn't been around in a grip. I sure do. Ooh. I will. This is actually a really irritating piece of music. And it doesn't sound much better with the uh, added sound of the Switch as opposed to the original Game Boy. Is it creeping anybody else out that he has teeth? He's a frog. Deeply upsetting. Alright, thanks a lot, buddy. I'm gonna leave now. Yay. Can liven up unliving things. It's an unnatural perversion of nature. Alright. So that's our first song. There's three of them that we need. Uh, let's see. It's the easiest thing to do right now. I'm sorry. I said this. This thing was over here. It's it's actually over uh, over this way. Or wait, no, no, no. I'm misremembering. Yeah, yeah, it's over here. No, just tripping myself up, overthinking things as usual. So we gotta teleport. This over to Animal Village. Ow! For gosh sake. Ugh. All right, I'm out of here. There we go. Ooh, piece of power. Just like Ninja Turtles. Pizza power. Looks like Animal Village is probably the closest, I think. Heal up on that tree first. Did say the green apples were better for you, which I don't think that's actually true in life. I think apples are apples for the most part. Okay. Well, we're 40 minutes in and we haven't made it to the dungeon yet. I don't think this is a super long one. The next two dun well. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there was another. Didn't wasn't I getting the seashell sound in one of these houses? I'm sorry, I'm I'm wasting everybody's time as usual. I don't know where the seashell is in here. Huh. Oh, perfect. I just need to talk to her. <laughs> All right, what's um? Oh god, I'm trapped by this bird. That's my seashell stat twenty two. Wow, we're making making good headway. Uh, I think that's all the. Uh, I think that's all the stuff that we absolutely need money for in this game. And I do want a little bit more money because. Um, I can get another seashell out of one of the games. I can uh, get that heart piece. All right, so the dungeon is up. What? Ugh. All right, so the dungeon is up north, but we actually need to go south first. Um, because uh, we gotta get the key there. some stuff we can do around here, too. I think there's a few uh, heart pieces and seashells and things in this whole area. Yeah, that's a fairy, which I don't need, but it's good to know that it's there. Actually, I'm gonna open up the... Hey! I didn't open
open up the map. What a scam. So. <laughs> oh, he dropped a heart. Damn. Can't get that. Alright, I think there's a seashell under that rock. Yep. Ugh. In the old version of the game, you just picked these up and you didn't have to listen to the, the victory yell all the time. There we go. Now oh, it only opened up that little bit. I think there's something over there, too. Whoop. Yeah, it's nice that we hit so much harder. Fairy, which... I uh, don't really need it at the moment. Let's see. Anything over here? Oh. How did I not. Stupid mic. Making things more difficult as usual. Anyway, let's just go to this dungeon. <laughs> Get this over with. So you don't really want to touch any of these statues, which I will demonstrate why momentarily. Oh, nice. Do I kill those red slimes with one shot now? Be. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. You definitely can kill these things. Uh, I don't remember exactly how. Is it arrows? Yes, there we go. That's why it's important that we pick the bow up. Nothing over here. Oops. Ten arrows. We gotta fix that soon. I don't remember where the other uh, the other merchant is that gives you the expansion. We definitely do want more arrows. Post haste. I might have to look that up because yeah, I really don't remember. Oh, okay. Nope. Uh, is it jumping and shooting arrows? thought I needed to wake this guy up with the thingy. Oh gosh, well this is not going to be a fun one. I'm going to get killed here. There's some really easy way to do this and I don't remember what it is. Bomb arrows? Nope. I'll run out of arrows soon. Uh oh. Shoot. I honestly can't remember how to get this guy. Oh. Guess we just gotta hit him not on his shield. Gosh, getting a little low. I think we got that, um... Why am 
I okay, I got him one time. Hold on. Alright, well that helped a little bit. Um Damn. I hit him somehow. Go. All right. Okay. Well, I don't know why. I don't remember that guy being that bad in the past. Sorry, everyone. It's just been a real sloppy, clumsy episode. I have to remember to restock our ferry. Oh, God. <laughs> if I ran out of powder, jeez. Okay, because you got to check this thing. Uh-oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, here comes the owl again. Probably to jabber at us. dungeon and accomplish something with meaning. Ugh, first we had a heal up though. <laughs> Good thing I, there was a fairy in that tree I remember. We'll go get that one. Uh, can I go this way? Do I have to go that way? No, I can go this way. Maybe I should have taken the defense boost instead. <laughs> All right. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ow, oh, you. Yeah, let's grab that fairy. Heal back up. The piece of power. Leave. I actually need to go. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Guess I could have healed up at the uh, fairy cave. That cave, um, I don't need to go to right at the moment. I don't believe. Ah. Guess I could have healed up at the uh, the big fairy here and then um, use the bottle to catch the fairy, the other fairy. That's, this should take me over to the, uh, the dungeon. Thankfully, this is one not one that you have to wander way all across the map to open it and then go back in. Ta-da! Alright, I think we've got... I've been going for about 50 minutes. Maybe I'll crop out some of the boring, wandering stuff. I usually try to leave the Let's Plays pretty intact. Uh, but... 
Oof, this was a bit rough. Oh. Oh, right, these idiots. Ah. Oh, no, now I've unsynced them, so... Let's go this way first. The whiz robes. Classic. Horrible, uh, Zelda enemy. Whee! Uh, I think the floor attacks me? Can I break them? Yes, good. I can't remember. Sometimes in these games you have to wait for the tiles to actually come at you before you can shatter them. Uh, I actually have a feeling that I wanted to go the other way, but as we've discussed, once you solve the puzzle, you're good to go. Uh, yeah, I did want to go the other Uh Yeah. I did want to go the other way. Did I blow up some wizards? It's just like Dark Souls. Boop. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, wake up. Oh, dang. These guys hit pretty hard, so. Ugh. No, nope, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Bombs. Ugh. Timing on this is atrocious. Do I have anything else? Can I shoot these guys with arrows? Uh, yeah, but I don't have a lot of arrows. I don't actually have enough to kill them all. That's all right. Use the bomb to finish off this one. There we go. That treasure chest, which I don't think is anything super important. Oh, money. <laughs> so not, not even remotely important. Uh, oh, I should have... Well, all right. There's a really good item I can get, but like I said, I, I kind of need to get rid of my shovel for it. And... Um, is that open? Nope. I kind of need to get rid of my shovel for it. And I'm not sure I'm completely done with the shovel yet. Powder for this. I have a feeling I need powder for this. Oh, no, I don't. Okie dokie. Oh, God. These are not fun. Uh oh. I have to farm some hearts off those Goombas that. Ah. Uh, That'll teach me. Hold on. Wait for it. No. Well, he didn't actually hit me that hard. Let's do a little bit of exploring first. Ah, there we go. Before we go hitting that switch. Well, we're gonna need to. Regardless. Okay, no arrows, that's useful. Ugh. Whoa. Ah. So these these doors in the past did not have those fun symbols on them, so you knew what you needed to do to open them. Perfect. That looks like a good one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Debatable. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do that? I 
think I don't want to do that, actually. Oh god, these stupid things. Ugh. I think I have enough arrows to kill these guys now, at least. And, and use my last charge of powder to uh, restock my fairy. To remember to either buy or find some more powder. Let's take care of these guys. I think this is just a key, but keys are useful. Perfect. How's all my other supplies doing? I'm out of powder, but bombs and arrows are in okay shape. Definitely need a lot of bombs for the boss here. Actually, I think I want to leave that like it is. Yes. Uh, or do I? I do eventually, but I'm not sure. Uh, what's over here for a second? That was the treasure chest, right? Oh, different treasure chest. Perfect. Uh, vaguely useless item. <laughs> Okay. So you may be wondering, how do we, if we have to throw things to open those doors, um, how do, actually, I'm going to grab this wall in here. Uh, well, that doesn't matter. This is going to trap me in here. Hmm. <laughs> can I throw a bomb over here? I can. It's not going to work like that, though. I need two. Ah! Get over there. Well, I killed that guy. <laughs> Not super helpful. Come on. Actually, will, will an arrow just go over there? Oh, well. Being a real dummy here. Alright. Yeah, you may be wondering how... Do we get through those rooms if we need to throw something to do that? What was up here? There weren't any pots in the room. That was weird. Uh, I will show you momentarily. But first, 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 we gotta go over here. Need some more powder though, pretty badly actually. Uh, that's fine. Bombs is fine. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what those things are supposed to be. Terrifying orbs of light. There we go. You. Oh boy. Oh, that's why we stocked up on arrows. The wizard robes are always pretty, uh, pretty tough enemies. They kind of look like Final Fantasy Black Mages. Oh, this better be the item. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> I could lift an elephant. 
Hmm. Wonder why we need that. Ta-da! Unless these stupid things. So yeah, that powers up our bracelet, which is good for about this this one dungeon. <laughs> that. Another key, maybe. Ooh, money. Alright, we've almost got enough for our... Oh, we do. We've got enough for our heart piece, and we can probably play the fishing minigame a few times. Uh, what's the map looking like? Yeah, let's, let's head this way. This place is bigger than I remember it. Should be able to go through this door now, though, because we can lift those things. Up. Oh, we've got a key. Oh gosh, a lot of wizards. Ah, they're shooting me. Took the hit, but I managed to get them at least. I think this way. Yes, we do want to do this right now. Oh, piece of power. Oh, nice. Jump over here. That was well timed. I think this is something important too, like a key. Oh. No, that. Literally useless. Ah. No. That's important. As a, as a kid, uh, this dungeon actually, like, really stumped me. Um, I, I could not, for the life of me, figure out that um, you had to throw things at the doors to get them to open. That really stumped me for a long, long time. <laughs> I wonder where the heck the map is. Probably in that one treasure chest I missed. I think there's one room in this dungeon, too, that you can, um... Oh, this stupid thing. So you gotta kill him with his own stupid ball. Seems kind of sad. I remember years ago, uh, Penny Arcade did a, a comic about like, wimpy enemies in video games, and they talked... Uh, I think there's a stairwell there? Yes. Uh, and they talked specifically about, like, like the... What? Is that a trap? I don't remember this thing at all. Oh, whatever. We'll go this way, then. Um, they <laughs> talked specifically about the grunts in Halo and how uh, they they mentioned, like, oh, you know, these types of enemies are supposed to make you feel like a badass by killing them, but they just kind of make you feel like a bully and a jerk. Um, uh, I think the floor comes and attacks me here. Maybe they're a little bit faster this time. Uh, and I think I do want to wait this out. That looks like... Uh, maybe a key or something. Yeah. Smart. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it was Taicho said something about, like... You know, these enemies, they don't feel like they need death. They feel like they need, like, good after-school programs. And that's kind of how I feel about that little guy that throws the ball at you. Like, he, he really seems pretty helpless. 
Uh, especially once you grab that ball and he starts fleeing in terror. Uh, is this the way to the boss? Alright, yeah, this is the way to the boss. I don't want to go this way yet. Um... So we need the boss key first. Uh, my least favorite puzzle in the whole game. So these... You have to get these things to, like, ricochet around. Um, and they actually... They move like chess pieces? Is that the whole thing? Yeah, they kind of, they move like a knight chess piece, so... That's kind of annoying. This better be boss key direction. Oh. Whoa. Stupid things. Uh, actually, how am I gonna? I guess I gotta use a bomb on one of them because I don't have. Well, let's see if I can shoot him with an arrow. Maybe that'll work. Yep. Ugh. I think I want. Oh boy, these stupid guys. They're back. They're back again. gulp. There we go, one down. I'm super glad that these things don't explode when I'm holding them. Oh, with the bomb. And they take a few minutes after before they start gulping again. No! There we go. So, uh, anyway, sorry, I had to focus on that for a second. But funny story about those, um, those little rabbit-looking things, the Poles' voices. Uh, so they, they're... They're called Pole's Voice because originally on the Famicom controller, um, there was... I hope this is the boss key. All right. Stupid treasure chest. Yay, it's the boss key. Let's go do that and get out of here. Never found the map. Probably not important. A couple abandoned treasure chests, probably money, which is not super important at this point. Um, yeah, so they're called Poles Voices because the original Famicom controller had a little microphone in it, and you could you had to like yell at them to kill them. Um, that obviously was not the case. Whoa, with uh. All right, where how did I do that last time? Is it up this way? I think the boss was this way. I'm trying to remember. Uh, so they, I forget what, how they came up with ways to kill them in the NES version. I think they just were strong enemies. Whoa. Which they are here. They take a lot of damage. You gotta throw things at them, which um, is a pretty heavy hit. And that guy took like four or five arrows before he went down, which is which is a lot. All right. 
so glad, like I said, that the puzzles stay solved. Uh, enemies come back, though. Ah. That's alright. This boss is pretty easy, so I'm not super concerned about uh, going in with full health. It's kind of creepy looking, though. named facade. Oops. No, oh, he didn't hit you. Whoa. In the um in the original version you could walk around on top of him. Starts making holes around the place. Yeah, pretty easy. Uh oh. <laughs> oh well, these things happen. Another heart. Hooray. Stacking those hearts up. And we get a triangle. Ooh. Coral triangle. I bet that would be very fragile. Well, that's it. Dungeon 6 is down. Mountain. Oh boy. It's like, um, it's like the sound of music. The hills are alive. They're calling. The sound of music. So, that was dungeon number... Oh, the owl's gonna talk to us again. That was dungeon number six. Grim there. Oh, that's right. That's right. What we need to do. Okay. Well, I think we've been going for about a little over an hour. <laughs> Sorry about the slow start in the beginning here, but uh, I think we're. I think we'll call it a wrap there. I hope you've had fun with me today, watching me awkwardly clear two dungeons. So until next week, I've been Mike with Team Brothership, and I hope you have a really great day. I'll see you soon.